Hey everyone, make sure you are voting for me for the Golden Bolts. You have until the 22nd, I believe, of November to get those votes in. You will go to goldenbolts.smitegame.com. You will log in using your Smite login, like what you would log in to play the game. Then you will hit the vote button and you can vote for me for streamer of the year and you can vote for me for clip of the year. I will see you all in the video. Because YouTube streaming is ass. Nobody watches YouTube streams. Be careful, middle. Yeah. Wait, I have a Janus jungle? What the fuck is this shit, dude? Oh, uh, you could have killed him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know to get all right. So if you're like how hard is streaming to get started as a streamer? Yeah, it's it's nearly impossible, bro. Good luck. Like I'm not even trying to be an asshole. It's nearly impossible if, if like you are this for a living um, Your odds are probably like sim like for you to be make like streaming a living a true living where you don't have to worry about where your paycheck's coming every month and there's some security because the other thing with streaming is if your stream fails or dies, you're done. There's no you go get a job you go stream somewhere else that's your new job you know like if you get fired from a job or your 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 company goes under there's usually another company doing exactly what your company was doing in the real world and streaming doesn't have that so there's the difficulty in that aspect with no backup there's just, i mean it's even if you are successful it takes years mr beast posted years for videos for like 10 years before he started making any money um i mean i streamed for uh mine's a little bit different but when I started streaming, there, streaming wasn't a living thing. It wasn't, you didn't make a living off of streaming. So, I mean, I was streaming for months with 50 viewers, 100 viewers. Fuck! He has one health. It's unfortunate. I thought I could kill him. Neither is easier to make money. Streaming and YouTube require you to make it first to make money. You don't just start making money. You can't just go start posting YouTube videos and you're going to make money. That's where the ignorance comes in. And I, that's one thing I don't like. I'm not saying you're ignorant. I'm not saying anyone who's asked a question here is, but people think they see streaming. They're like, that's going to be my career, which is it's fine, but you can't make it your career. You can't, uh, you can't just start doing it. And it's your job. Like you're not a streamer. Cause you turn on a stream. You're not a basketball player. Cause you play basketball in your fucking local gym. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's not the same concepts. Just takes a lot of work and a lot of effort and you got to control your own schedules and a lot of people can't do that it's a lot of drive and it'll there's no instant reward that i think there, there's no instant gratification people are used to that these days so it's a struggle i'm sorry people see that i don't know what Lud, Lud, wait what ludwig ludwig video I think a lot of you also preach the idea that like there's a way to success in social media because they made it but most of them made it after years and years and years and something just hit that either went viral or made them pop and then they stay at the top if you go viral on twitch now these days like you go like true viral not like one clip wonder viral like you do something or you're doing something that people love you know what i mean like uh i don't know like in in uh rp the dudes who are running like the chain gang and shit like they were some of the most entertaining so their streams just grew they blew up and then they stayed there that just happens a lot that's like how, what, literally the thing like you gotta you gotta be at the mid tier for a while to make it i watched something um or i was reading something i forgot who it was but they were talking about like where like pokemon pokemon i think she streamed league for a long time right at like a mid-tier level and then eventually she blew up and like that there's just like countless people that are like that where like they they swap to something else uh and it blew up like they they hit they hit the top they peaked and then they stayed there ludwig made a video about how you can try something successful yeah but that's wasn't he streaming for like years and years and making content for years and years before he started like he did anything 
I didn't even know he made a video like that. I don't agree at all. I think that that's a kind of a like, like in a way you control it, yes, but in a lot of ways you don't. Like yes, you control how much time you're putting in. You control the choices you make. You control what what content you make and things like that. Which are obviously, if you do the right content, it's gonna blow up. But I mean, you can't be like, I'm gonna be a content creator today and have no idea what content you're gonna make and how. To, how like I don't know. It's weird. I mean, Ninja was a big Halo streamer, but at, at that level was like mid tier. And then he was a big H1Z1 streamer, which was a little bit higher. And then fucking like, yeah, Fortnite blew up, stayed at the top. Crazy, what are you saying? Oh, he made an undercover channel vid and tried to get 1K subs and a bunch of views in less than a week or so to see that YouTube isn't just luck. Oh, hey, YouTube, I could see like YouTube videos. That would be a different, little bit different argument because I think that's more... Uh, anyone can hit on that where like a stream you can't just randomly hit Oh, I just got fucked uh, Made a video on Miz donated $50 Miz watched it and he ended with like 60k views and made a video on his main about it Oh, that's dumb. So that is bullshit. It's a meme video. That means he was trolling <laughs> he, he made a video about Miz, donated, said, hey, please watch, and then said, look, I can be successful. If I play Halo, I'm playing on controller, so I'm thinking about doing it today. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, but have you heard the Tifu stuff? He said he found some way to get to the front page of Xbox every day. So, like, he was like, he never streamed to less than 1,500 people, even when he just started, just because he was on the front page of that shit. Oh, shit. Oh, you suck. I just got a sick dash. He's dead, right? Bro, we are stomping them. What the fuck? Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you go for them. Higgs, please TP, please TP, please tell me you have port. Uh, I ain't having anybody. No problem. You'd have to watch it. How a door made this streamer 1 million. Oh, he was literally just memeing, memeing. I mean, once you like, if you make it, you can do anything. If you have the personality and you do the content, right? You can do anything. Once you, you make it, you just got to make it first. It's the hard part. I mean, and it's hard to make it like I use Andy a lot, El Elion, for an example. He is like is pretty fucking consistent. Um, like obviously he has room to improve. Everybody does, right? But um, he's a very consistent content creator, and he's never really like seen like consistent, consistent growth on Twitch. Like he he's been in that 300 to like 600 viewer range. If nobody's streaming, then he'll be at the top and he'll pick up those viewers. But like, he can't just get on at any point in the day and get X amount of viewers, which I'm not, this is like me using him as an example. That doesn't mean he's a bad streamer or bad content. It's just, it's fucking hard. Okay. It's fucking difficult. There's 5,000 people watching Smite at any given moment, right? So like, why would someone stop watching a pro player like panda cat to go watch your adc stream or something you know like why are you different oh dude i hit fucking hard what the shit uh tiktok tiktok success is different though on tiktok if you aren't getting like a hundred thousand fucking likes a video you're not considered successful like you have to have millions upon millions of followers to be considered successful on tiktok truly like to, to actually be making like youtube type money that's where you have to be at so like <laughs> like there's a big difference right like i have videos with a couple hundred thousand views on tiktok it doesn't mean shit it doesn't it doesn't start, it doesn't equate to anything it has no value he compared the door of his background to the doors in seinfeld and friends like 
shock value where someone could walk in any kind of idea interesting oh that was just like the video idea he did about it like who's gonna be here today realistically like success on youtube is correlated with your success other places i mean there's a but there are there's a lot of youtubers that can that have no stream presence at all bro there's people with like quadruple my followers or quadruple my subs on youtube that like stream to 200 people the other problem is a lot of people go and learn and like how to stream and how to be successful and get tips from people with like 200 viewers and it's not a bad thing like that's not a bad like you're not a bad streamer or anything like that but you've you aren't even successful yet you, you like there's i don't know you can't give advice i don't know how you can give advice like true advice you can give advice you're trying to give advice based on experience when you don't actually have the experience that's the problem that i see a lot on streams and shit so i get why people ask questions i understand why you go into a streamer you're like hey i want to become a streamer like what do i gotta do realistically you just have to start fucking doing it and it's like a process that you'll slowly figure out and most people get juiced most people that make it get juiced i was watching a podcast yesterday um about oh i fucked up about uh it's the optic podcast or one of the optic podcasts right so they were talking about nade shot they were talking about all of them um and hex was talking about how nade shot actually kind of got blown up and started through uh predator if you know who that sniper was on um on call of duty he was like a very very good sniper in call of duty is very well known and he, apparently they were like a big duo that played together so that's where a lot of their shit got started oh fuck i'm probably dead oh i'm just dead gg i did eight bajillion damage and we killed nobody that sucks Yeah, so like you're a friend who's more successful or you like you start streaming and you know people that are already successful Yeah, your odds and your ability to grow is there and honestly um, Collaborating once you have like started to grow is another really good way to grow I mean look at like Nick Merckx and, and Doc and Courage like they'll all play the end Tim They'll all play together and they'll all have 20 to 40 K viewers or whatever and it's not necessarily just the same people watching every stream it's just they grow off each other and when one of them is not streaming those people go watch somebody else matt stoney is huge on youtube and he streams smite well that's different because he's a food eating youtuber who's trying to play video games on twitch that does not count that does not correlate sorry that does not like they're not the same thing if you now if he was eating food on twitch i bet you that if that's all he did on twitch he would get way more viewers if he sat there and did like fucking food eating challenges and taught to just chatting leading into it and then leading out of it he would get way more fucking uh traction shut off my screen bitch i mean all those dudes all they do is collab yeah dude they're like not all they do is collab and i'm weird <clears throat> i like watching people when they're just doing their own thing i don't like people I'm not a huge fan of watching like eight streamers t talking together and playing the same game. I, I really don't enjoy that content at all. I'm surprised it's as po like it, it is a little surprising to me that it's as popular as it is because I don't like it. I usually don't like a bunch of the personality personalities in terms of what I want to watch and then you blend them all together. And you don't have a choice kind of sucks. completed uh in connor me is probably the biggest mind streamers i don't know what his size is i don't really i've tried not to pay attention to numbers a lot lately i've like like i talked about i, I pretty much redid rebranded my youtube channel and then we started the second channel for the extra content and i've tried to start doing that in terms of twitch where i'm uh not paying attention to the numbers as much and just trying to do things a little bit differently i have no idea what other people are doing number was not a, no not a fucking guess yo imagine that shit bounce mm -mm -mm. nah that man's not big he's got like 
uh like one third of my followers on twitch uh his youtube is very very small his social media presence is very very small your actual number you see that like you see below my stream right now 2086 that doesn't actually mean anything um you to you guys it does to like random people like oh that dude he big streamer like oh whatever that doesn't mean anything it has no value that number does not correlate to anything because you have to realize in a night i could have twenty thousand people come in my stream but that number is always around 2100 right whereas other people will have five thousand people come in their stream and their number is always 1500 their number never changes either but they, they have way less people come in to a sponsor i'm worth thousands more i mean just for an example uh double j and zapman were like right next to each other when the uh what's it called came out the like earnings report from twitch came out they were both in like the 1300 range or something right next to each other and Zatman's supposed to have like four times more viewers than double j Oh my gosh. We did a lot of damage. Oh, I might have killed him. Oh, you're dead anyway. Dude, our team sucks. On my way. <laughs> they stopped doing that shit for me. On my way. Oh, I thought we were following up. Uh, I was three something, three, three twelve, I think. What was more crazy to me was how much money Smite Game fucking makes. Smite Game was like three twenty on the list, bro. Like that shit's wild that people are subbing the fucking smite game for no reason. At least to me that shit's wild. Wow. Nice one. Yeah, who is? Yeah, of course. Sadly, I don't speak any other languages i can't fucking watch them and know what's going on but i know it is i know how big the community is like the Sp the spanish spain community is because of kasir he taught me a lot fuck i'm mid lane and i forgot i didn't pick up my red i'm trolling yeah kasir taught me a lot about that community it's an interesting community dude it's a lot very tight group of people there's a lot of that well a good size of them considering and they're a really tight group of people and fucking just uh, they either you're either loved or fucking despised bro i missed that so Why would anybody sub this mic? I really, I don't know. That's why I was mind blown. <sighs> All right, what do y'all try it when I, uh, okay, I'll probably end up trying it tomorrow, to be honest. It's the OP, boys. Are they doing fire? I don't hear them. Hope they're not on it. What's up, Sun Alpha? Sun Alpha, my boy. Sounds good. What's up, Not Will? 
Sounds good, Woody. Uh, it's getting better. Feels a lot better. It's not. Still got a good amount of pain, but compared to what it was, bro. Lots better. Pro Unicycler, thank you for the prime sub, brother. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Damn, he cleared that fast as shit. Oh, bro! This is the fucking... Hold on, isn't this the Osiris I just showed you guys? Bro, what? How soon? We're it is! For our... He's the feeding Osiris! He is the Osiris who died four times, missed every ability, and then left the game and just fucking came back 20 minutes, like five minutes later. Bro, what the fuck? How is my solo getting worked by this guy? Oh my god, my support's also 0 7. Uh, I broke my radial head, which is right in here, and it controls your whole arm, your forearm movement. I fractured it, and I won't know. I go back, I think I go back in like two weeks, beginning of December, or like, like the beginning of December to, uh, Oh, if I had one more bomb, he's just dead. Wait, what? Kill him. No. That sucks. Your left tower is under attack. I need more CDR. I'll be over there. They're at one health. I hit so fucking hard. Goodness gracious. I flipped my go kart while I was drifting. Wait, what? What? What are you doing? You just into them, pretty sure. Yeah, the doctor told me. The doctor was like, "You broke the best bone in your body to break as an adult." He's like, "Literally, there's no better body, never, no better bone to break if you're gonna break a bone." I was like, "Oh, that's you know, that's." Something. I'll take that. <laughs> Wait, I'm level 20 already? What the fuck? Hello? Team, how are we losing? Apparently I'm fragging. I didn't even realize. Your left tower is under attack. All right, I need CDR, dude. I fucked up. Be right back. The fire giant. You're lucky bitch. You're a lucky ducky, gamer. Ultimate is ready. It's boring, dude. He'll probably jump on me too because he's a fucking loser. This guy snipes my casuals all the time. Oh no, it's not that guy, never mind. Someone else. Be careful. I think Dodge is scared of the new Z06. I think Dodge and Ford are heavily outclassed by uh is ready. by Chevrolet right now with their Corvettes. I don't think they're in, in the same area code. They just keep pumping out the same shit. Retreat. Bro, I can't even go in because you guys aren't letting me. Wait, that Aragnid is level 1 health? Yo, kill him. He's literally 1 HP. Nice. What the fuck, Ymir? Oh, that's a good wall, though. Fire giant. 
No, my ship rocked. Jeez. He breaks only once, he'll be injured again easier. Yeah, well, I don't plan on fucking falling on my arm again anytime soon. We should win the game now. I'm out of here, gamers. Be right back. That's what your mother said until she fell down the stairs with you in her arms twice. Yeah, but I mean, I don't really like all down the stairs or anything <laughs> i got a a pretty active mind so like anytime i go on the stairs i don't i'm not like sprinting up and down the stairs i'm holding onto the railing i'm looking for my dog so they don't fucking run down and knock me over like stuff like that all the time like that's just how my mind works like with anything like that it's just how my mind always works Jinxing it? No, I don't. I don't do jinxing it. It's my life, dude. Broke two bones in my whole life. Broke my elbow because I was being greedy, doing too much without learning and easing into it, and uh, broke my pinky when I was playing basketball when I was little. Hurt a little bit. Yo, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, a triple kill. What? You can't blow me out this quick. How the fuck did he see me? This is a fucking wizard. Kind of big, yeah, a little bit, a little big. How are people happy? A little big. What's up, your pelican? Thank you for the 15 months, brother. Welcome back. Welcome back. He must have just seen me standing there somehow. My my broad shoulders just poking up over the side of the wall or something. Tactical fury. I chemical scope. I'm good, man. How are you? Today was weird. I did so I recorded videos all day today. I did not go outside once. Um, until I took the trash out tonight. So Sammy comes home. She's like, did you go outside today? I was like, no. She's like, it was 75 degrees. I was like, what the fuck? Why did I record Jews to like go ham skis on recordings on the nicest day? We're probably the last nice day I'm going to have here. And then when I go outside, it's like super windy. It's 60 degrees and it's fucking uh, like drizzly. Retreat. Did you see my message? Were you recording? Wait. You talking about the the bronze one? Be right Ultimate back. is ready. Attack. Oh, you whispered me? No, I didn't see it. That means it's probably one of the fucking videos, dude. <laughs> I was recording, so if you message me, it's almost guaranteed in one of the videos. Oh, yesterday. It was yesterday. No, 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 no. I didn't even know you messaged me. I went D&D &D because I played a 4Q that I play all the time on my main. That's right. I wasn't playing on my main today. 
Yeah, I when I play on my main, I run into four Qs all the time. Like like sweaty. They're in comms, they're warding four Qs. It's not and I look, I check my guru to see if it's actually a four Q. It is every fucking time. It's the most cringy annoying shit ever to try to make content. Like dude, I played a, they played Geb solo, they played fucking Kali jungle, uh fuck it, I don't know. It was like the dumbest shit. And I was like, this has to be a Q, so I checked my guru and it is there four men. Come on, Arachne, walk up, bitch. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, that's not good. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. Oh, yeah. oh, so I was standing on a ward. <laughs> Kill him! I saved your ass! Please! Oh, he's got a fucking sigil proc right there? That's bullshit. I'm tilted for you, bro. Oh! Is he gonna slap somebody? Oh! I don't think he hit anybody. Uh, bro, yeah. Well, it was like I said, it was 75 today. It's gonna start being 30 and 40 here every day soon. You wear shorts all winter? Yeah, you're crazy, dude. Are, are you that guy that in high school you were wearing a t-shirt? You're like, I'm not even cold. I had a friend who was like that. It's like, bro, I get it. You got some meat on your bones, dude. We, we all fucking get it. Oh, please. Bro, how does no one else get in? I went all the way around. I did a full fucking loop. I literally did a full loop. How do you guys not walk into that shit? Is it trolling? Absolute trolls. Doesn't get cold in Florida. Yeah, but he said in negative 25 degree Fahrenheit weather, which I don't even know where the fuck you live to be wearing that cold. I feel like you're trolling me. 32 is warm in Wisconsin. Yeah, have fun living in the middle of fucking nowhere. Oh, we just lose. Can't carry. One and ten, one and eight. Can't carry him. They're uncarryable, boys. Now Ymir should have just been ulting instantly, and he didn't. So I have comeback mechanics, of course. It's called kill people. Be fire. Wisconsin is so nice. Greatest place on the planet. Fuck no. You got Chick-fil-A? Is there a Chick-fil-A by your house right now? Could you could you go get Chick-fil-A and get back before my next rank game starts? Because I could. Any new kicks lately? Nah, I'm just waiting for Christmas. That's all I'm going to ask for probably. What's the damage numbers here, boys? Oh my god, I did 40k. Even my viewer popped. This dude did 20k, my general did 28. He didn't even do bad. You had to find game. These these two just fed. My dual lane went 2 and 18. 